Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to have a look at this awesome pull-through kitchen knife sharpener from WorkSharp. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this knife sharpener and help support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below because we do get a commission when you purchase this item. Before getting started, I just want to thank the good folks out at WorkSharp for sending me this knife sharpener to review. Let's get started. Now of course there are many different ways to sharpen a knife edge. You can get a sharpening stone system like this, but not everybody wants to take the time to learn how to use these because it does take a little bit of skill. And then of course you have your electric knife sharpeners, but not everybody wants to spend that kind of money. And a lot of people just want something quick and easy that's easy to store. Enter the work sharp pull through sharpener. All right, let's get you guys a size reference here. Overall length from the tip of the handle to the edge here, I'd say just about eight and a half inches width wise. What do you guys think? About two and a half inches that way. And then height wise, Oh, about the same thing, just about two and a half inches high. All right, let's get the sharpener on the scale so we can get you guys a weight reference so you have an idea for what this is going to feel like in your hands. Overall weight coming in at 7.1 ounces. And just in case you're wondering, that weighs almost as much as nine AA batteries. Let's take a quick tour around this pull-through sharpener. We can see here in the bottom, this is rubber. Nice offset handle, gives you a nice base to grip onto while you're pulling the blade through. And in these sharpening grooves, on number one, this is your primary sharpening wheel, so that's a diamond wheel. And you can see it's offset a little bit, and you're going to be running your blade through there to sharpen it. And then on this side, that's a ceramic honing wheel. And this here is a diamond plate if you want to sharpen your scissors or shears. How is it made out of plastic? Alright, let's sharpen a knife. So this is the knife we're going to be sharpening. It is my beloved paring knife. Now this belongs to a set of knives that my mom has. So she still has the chef knife and the carving knife. This is the paring knife and I probably use this more than my chef knife. It's got a nice offset off the handle. See how it's raised here. I don't have to worry about banging my knuckles down on the table when I'm cutting. I use it to, as a steak knife. I use it to cut vegetables, fruits. It is a really great knife. The only problem is this knife is well over 50 years old, and the steel technology just wasn't there back in the day. It takes a really nice edge, but after every usage, even if I hone it, the blade still gets pretty much dull, as we can see here. It doesn't really cut anything, and it needs to be touched up. So let's see how the sharpener can help. All right, so we're going to run this through from heel to toe, just rocking it back and forth like this. Okay, so we'll go here. And we'll do this 10 times as well. I forgot to mention one important step when transitioning from the sharpening wheel to the honing wheel. Make sure you clean off your blade of all of the steel shavings on there. You don't want to clog up the honing wheel in there. Just going to inspect this edge here to see if there's any glinting. And that looks pretty good. I don't see any shining on there, so this should be a lot better. Yes, sir. And it's that easy. All right, let's have a look at the scissor sharpener. We're going to be using this diamond pad right here. And essentially what you want to do is back off the knife sharpener to the edge of the table. That way the handles can dip over the side. But just to show you how it works, I'm going to be holding it. So you're going to take the back half of the scissors here. And you're going to rest it on the sides here. Depending if you're left or right handed. This is for a right handed pair. So you're going to take the back, rest it right here. And just drag it across. And all you got to do is switch sides. It's that easy. All right, so just a couple of tips when using this awesome knife sharpener. When you're pushing down, you don't need a lot of force. The main thing to remember is you rock back and forth heel to toe like this, getting the entire blade. Another thing, too, that this is so easy to store, you can just take it out and just hone your blade. You don't need to sharpen it every single time. 
just get this out and run it through the honing steel and that's going to keep your knives in really good condition. Now also remember you're going to be removing steel from your knife so there's going to be a little bit of steel dust on here so keep it clean and also remember to wipe up your counter surface because that steel dust will get all over the place. Once again guys this has been the work sharp pull through kitchen knife sharpener if you're looking for something that's easy to store easy to use that's not going to break the bank this might be an excellent option for you. Well alright guys this is the ending of the video remember if you want to purchase this awesome knife sharpener make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching I'll catch you in the next video.